Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you an oil change on this 2002 Chevy Impala with the 3.8 liter. Uh, this oil change procedure is the same for a whole bunch of different GM vehicles with this 3800 V6 in it. Okay, the tools you're going to need are an oil filter wrench and a 15 millimeter wrench and obviously an oil receptacle. And on these vehicles, you probably can get away without jacking the vehicle up. Um, right here is your uh, oil drain plug, it's a 15 millimeter bolt, and then right in here in the wheel well is your oil filter. Um, so, But if you did want to jack up the car, um, you would want to jack underneath the aluminum subframe right here. It's a good place to put a jack right there. And then if you jack there, you'd want to put your jack stand for safety in the same spot as my lift is here. Okay, so with that you want to remove your uh, oil drain plug, 15 millimeter wrench, counterclockwise as you look at it from the other way actually. Speed up through there and now you can just let the oil drain for a while. Okay, uh, so my uh, oil draining has slowed to just a trickle. So I'm going to put the drain plug back in and I'm actually going to turn my attention to the oil filter but I'm going to put the drain plug back in and I'm going to tighten it. I always tighten my drain plug no matter if I even if I know I'm going to pull it out again later because um, you don't want to not tighten it and then not pull it out again later and not tighten it up later. So every time you put your drain plug back in, tighten it up. Okay, and now we'll turn our attention up to the um, oil filter and using the oil filter wrench we'll remove um, the filter you, this is an adjustable wrench. You set the wrench and then as you um, tighten it, it tightens around the filter. And then on this vehicle you push it back towards the rear of the car. That loosens the filter up. Okay, and after it's loosened up you can just spin it with your hand. You'll see oil will start coming down. Uh, it gets a little messy. This is where the gloves definitely come in handy. Uh, well, one note, you can do this when your engine's warm. It's actually a little better to do it when it's warm, but you have to be very careful not to burn yourself because the oil can be up to 200 degrees. So um, it's usually a good idea to start it up and warm it up just a little bit. That gets the oil just a little more uh, viscous and it flows a little better, comes out a little better. So we'll pull, finish spinning our filter off, pull it down, and then dump it out. There's actually oil in the filter, so you dump that out and then you can see a little line of oil coming off the uh, filter mount so we'll let that drain down for a while too and so after we've let that drain for a little bit we we'll just reach up in there with a rag or a paper towel you want to make sure it's somewhat of a lint free rag or paper towel is usually better just wipe down the filter surface or the mount surface as much as you can get as much of the oil, old oil off as possible wipe down the CV boot and the frame your new filter put a little bit of oil around the edge uh, just to coat that rubber gasket and then put it up in there and spin it right on okay and then tighten it up a little bit we'll grab our wrench and we'll get it pretty much hand tight and then take your wrench and you're just going to spin it you know, maybe another half to three quarters of a turn. You don't want to go extremely tight. Um, you just want to give it really good and snug. Okay, so yeah, we did about another half turn there. Okay, so back, just pull out the plug again um, and let any other oil that's just settled down into the pan out. So after letting it drain for a little bit, we'll put our plug up and in wipe down the uh, pan a little bit and just make sure 
on your uh, bolt there is a nylon washer just make sure that's not cracked or broken or anything and then we'll tighten up the uh, drain plug 15 millimeter wrench again and you want to pull it nice and tight don't go crazy but you want to get it good and tight Okay, a word about waste oil. Uh, I have a nice arrangement. One of my friends has a garage with a waste oil heater, so I just give it to him and he recycles it. Um, you can also, either your local transfer station um, will take the oil, or uh, most garages will take the oil. Um, some will charge a small fee. Okay, so now we want to refill. Um, I've already removed the cap there, so remove the cap on the oil. Pour it in slowly. Try not to spill any. If you spill any, have a little rag laying around so you can wipe it down real quick. And what you want to do is for this engine, you want to add four quarts of oil and then check it. And you should see that the oil is full at that point. Then you'll want to start up and run your vehicle for um, a, just a minute or two. Let the oil circulate. It'll fill up the oil filter. Check your oil again. You should find it's about a half a quart low. And you can either choose to, um, you know, fill it that half a quart, or you can leave it a half a quart low. It's not going to hurt anything as long as it's in the operating range. And you can see right here on your dipstick, those four dots are basically the operating range. So you want to fill it until you're within those four dots. And like I said, four quarts will get it right halfway in between. And then put your dipstick back in. No, nope, sorry. Put your dipstick back in and put your cap back on, and you should be all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888 844 3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.